I'm Rory Bremner, I'm an impressionist and comedian. And uh, remarkably, uh, I, along with uh, a couple of my school friends, won the UK Schools Public Speaking Championship in 1870, no, 1979. I think it's a shame now that there don't seem to be as many kind of role models really as, as there were when I was younger. I know it's a, a kind of classic thing to look back and think it was a golden era. But when you look at uh, people like uh, Tony Benn, for example, uh, or George Galloway, George Galloway has a very distinctive way of speaking. Uh, and I often send it up by, it's, uh, it's like um, a song, Tainted Love. It's, there are times I think I want to get away. I want to run away. Once I ran from you, now I run to you. Take my tears and that's not really all. That's all about phrasing. Uh, even Nigel Farage, he's got a way, a way, dare I say, a way of speaking, which is a bit like my way. It's, and now, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. There's a kind of rhythm uh, to, to the way that people speak. But um, as far as rhetoric goes, it's kind of, there aren't so many role models for young people, I think. Now, Obama was an excellent example of, uh, I think Obama was perhaps in recent memory, the best example of oratory. And his first speech, his acceptance speech, I think he said, um, you know, if there is anybody out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dreams of our founders are alive in this time, who still questions the power of our democracy. Tonight is your answer. That's just brilliant stuff. I think looking back, I mean, even now, uh, I, when I'm doing after dinner speeches and things like that, what I like to do is to find out a little bit about the people that I'm talking to, about what they're into, what their interests are, um, and then to turn that around and put it into the speech. Because if you're talking about something that the audience experiences, it's, what, it's their world, if you like. If you're able to do that, then it engages you with the audience that much more. Um, but I suppose what I learned that many, many years ago from doing the vote of thanks, which I did, which meant you had to kind of listen to what was being said before, and you had to turn it around, and you had to really take material and, in a quite a short space of time and turn it around and, and deliver it so you could quote from their speech, uh, you would talk about the person who just spoken, and you would pay tribute to them and also thank them and all of that. So in a sense, that was the beginning of um, learning to think a little bit on your feet and to write very quickly in a particular context. And that's part of public speaking as well. It's, it's not just about um, reading a speech. William Hague in the House of Commons, was, he uh, had a an ability to turn a phrase and to, uh, I think he, no puns as well, he had a wonderful, he said uh, when Ken Livingstone and uh, Frank Dobson were two candidates for London Mayor, and I remember William Hague saying, well maybe he could have both candidates serving as a London Mayor, and Frank Dobson could be his day mayor, and Ken Livingstone could be his nightmare. And he was just witty, he was just funny, and I think humour is a great way to get across to people.